Assalamualaikum again uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, before I uh, we start, uh, I I want really to to extend uh, my uh, uh, congratulations uh, uh, to uh, uh, to our I mean uh, mothers, uh, sisters, uh, daughters. Okay. Uh, uh, mother, mothers and who uh, and mothers to be uh, uh, to, and say happy uh, Mother's Day and uh, uh, this is a special uh, 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 event uh, that uh, we, we all uh, 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 look at it really in a uh, uh, and uh, Subhanallah I mean the, the the last few surahs were really. Uh, talking about uh, or or really uh, uh, the issue related to uh, women uh, were very basically prominent and uh, we discussed Surat Al-Mujadila this is a, a, a woman uh, arguing with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and today uh, uh, we continue the discussion of Surat Al-Mumtahana uh, again you can see the the uh, the female uh, uh, connotation here, you are talking about women who were basically tested and, and we will see uh, uh, the, uh, the, the circumstances that uh, led uh, to, to, to this. But I, I really uh, 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 want to, to uh, uh, start by saying, okay, when you are really, um, 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 like for example, if you are coming, uh, traveling to a, a new country and they want to make sure that uh, it is really safe for you to get in and everything, they start, they ask you questions, okay? Not necessarily like um, uh, th threatening you but basically why where where are you coming what is the reason for the visit okay so okay. nowadays we see it uh, a, a a a regular i mean uh, uh, thing because of the uh, uh, circumstances that we uh, all uh, know about happening in basically in the whole world but if you if you think about it okay also you when you um, are asking um, a man or a woman like certain questions. So you are basically acknowledging the presence of that really individual, okay? And they, they have, you are acknowledging that they, they have a presence, they have a voice, they have, uh, they, they can uh, 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 articulate, I mean, their uh, 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 objectives of uh, that type of movement why they are uh, coming to, to, the, to this country or that country. So uh, you, uh, uh, you, you are, uh, I mean, they, they are free, okay, in, 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 in that uh, uh, sense and basically wanted to make sure that uh, these free people are also responsible uh, 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 human beings and and also they, uh, 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 they are clear about their intentions and, and, uh, and, uh, and about their uh, uh, actions. Um, the, um, the, the, the surah um, was revealed really, uh, as you remember, um, uh, around the time uh, I mean, before and after an important treaty uh, that uh, uh, was uh, signed between Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the, uh, 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 their oppo his opponents and the elites, if you like, of, of Mecca. And, uh, and uh, you all recall that in that treaty, the objective of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was really like to uh, uh, establish a peaceful um, uh, environment uh, in Arabia because as you know, Quraysh is, uh, 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 and their uh, presence in, uh, in, in Mecca 
um, is very pivotal. So if um, he uh, is able like to achieve uh, that peace, uh, that definitely will allow, uh, 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 I mean, it will stop definitely the, the bloodshed. It will allow people to move uh, uh, freely uh, in, uh, in Arabia. And also that definitely will work very well for 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 Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to convey his message under really peaceful conditions, and this is uh, uh, the the right condition for uh, the, the spread of the of the uh, uh, of the message. Uh, it's because it it, uh, it cannot be really spread under uh, uh, under pressure, or people cannot think when they are really and and uh, fearful. Uh, uh, situation. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, 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 concerned about their own safety. No, pe people cannot really think, in, in the right way. So, um, uh, so Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was uh, uh, very lenient. Okay, and uh, and he basically gave up uh, so many things that, in in essence, they do not affect. The his um, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, his basic principles, okay. But he was looking for any situation mm -hmm. that would really uh, create that that environment. And so, as part of of that treaty, if um, um, uh, somebody uh, decides really like to move from Mecca. Uh, to Medina to join uh, the, the new society in Medina, according to the treaty that, that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi has or had really to tell uh, uh, about it. The, and if they do not agree with the movement of that person, that person should be uh, 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 sent back really to, uh, 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 to Mecca or sent outside really Medina. Uh, and uh, but the opposite, if somebody decides really like to move from Medina, uh, because again, I mean, belief is la ikraha fi din. So if whoever chooses basically to 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 change or take a, a different path, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not basically against it. He, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is interested in people who come to 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 this. Uh, 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 to, to Medina and, and to um, um, uh, embrace Islam uh, wholeheartedly, okay, really to be uh, 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 mu'mineen. I mean, you see, I mean, and that uh, 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 doesn't really, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it contradicts uh, the, the idea of uh, uh, being forced or coerced really like to uh, uh, follow uh, uh, a certain path uh, or to uh, follow a certain conviction. So, uh, and the, the language of the, of the treaty did not really like, uh, was mainly in the, in the masculine, basically uh, uh, as if talking uh, only about, about, about men. But really, there there was nothing specific about about women, and so Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam felt that he is free to uh, deal with the issue of of women, uh, uh, depending on uh, uh, his own principles uh, and his agenda, rather than uh, because the treaty did not really. Uh, 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 specifically talk about uh, th their really uh, situation because who would be really uh, when the treaty was was signed it was uh, clear i mean to to both sides at that time that uh, i mean the, the whoever can, may, may, uh, may do that most likely uh, if not all all the time will be really a man but really things uh, uh, or the uh, 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 time uh, showed us something different. Uh, 
that the there were uh, uh, women who basically um, embraced Islam in Mecca, and they could not really uh, uh, see themselves that they they have to uh, uh, stay with their husbands who who are uh, uh, do not really ag agree with their with their uh, belief and um, uh, the life became too difficult to to live with someone who who is uh, uh, diametrically opposite to you in the way they see the world they, they see the relationships that what what uh, the objectives of of this life so uh, marriage is about not only uh, i mean uh, 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 a physical meeting but also it is, should be a meeting at, at all levels, the emotional, intellectual, mental, uh, 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 social. I mean, all, all these elements should be part of uh, 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 that uh, uh, institution. So these women uh, uh, could not see uh, a, a, a future, if you like, for that relation. And so they wanted to move and join the, uh, the, 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 the society that they have seen over the years, what really happened uh, 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 and, uh, and what ways it has really advanced and in, in what ways women have been basic, the way they were really treated, okay? And so it, it becomes really a, uh, an incentive for them really like to move uh, to Medina and to, uh, 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 while they are aware of the consequences, okay? And, uh, uh, and basically they didn't know what will be really uh, the, the outcome of, of such a move. So, um, and at the same time, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, 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 when he became aware of, of these women, uh, uh, what basically how how to to make sure that they are really coming because of deep belief in the in the message, or probably they have other uh, uh, worldly, if you like, um, uh, objectives. Um, probably they want to to join somebody that they uh, they they love to to get married to, or they. Uh, 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 they are escaping a situation in Mecca and they want to have a, a resort like in uh, a safe haven like in Medina. I mean, you, there are so many uh, things. So Muhammad Sallallahu also, and don't forget, uh, you remember when we discussed uh, the, at the beginning of the surah, uh, the, the circumstances behind the early verses of the surah about uh, Hatib, the the the, the uh, the companion of the Prophet alayhi that be, uh, uh, he um, uh, 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 uncovered um, uh, uh, certain uh, secrets, okay, uh, uh, behind the back of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he, uh, to, the, to the enemy, and they sent them in a, uh, uh, these secrets in, in a letter by a woman. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So how can Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi now, after that incident, know if these were not even spies? Or uh, they may uh, cause really uh, uh, havoc or, or uh, uh, create problems. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is, is, is not really interested in that at all. So it, it was really, uh, uh, think about it in, in this way. On one hand, the Prophet, peace be upon him, wanted to make sure, and the Muslim community wanted really like to make sure that whoever is coming to them is really coming out of deep belief, okay, in the, in the message. And this is why they, because there will be uh, implications that we will talk about it, okay, uh, 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 socially and politically. And at the same time, uh, uh, he, uh, uh, I, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is also 
uh, uh, wants to protect the society from any um, thing that may be coming uh, from outside under that banner of, oh, okay, we are, uh, we want really like to, 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 to join the, the, the society in Medina and, and we are. So the, Muhammad Sallallahu wanted to make sure about really the intentions of, of, these, uh, of these women, okay? And with that, we can start really like uh, discussing the last part that starts uh, verse number 10. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا جاءكم المؤمنات مهاجرات فامتحنوهن. So and and here you can see the address is not to the prophet, the leader of the of the community who is really in charge of protecting the society. But he is also the verse is telling us that that society itself, okay, the society of the believers, the community of the believers, ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, did not say ya ayyuhal nabiyu, okay, no, it is the, uh, it is also the responsibility of the community, okay, to protect itself, protect its secrets, and, and, and uh, uh, make sure, uh, or ensure the safety of, of their uh, 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 leader and their really co-citizens, okay? So if these uh, 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 women uh, 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 migrated uh, uh, to you or from Mecca to, 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 to Medina, okay? And Quran is, is, is really referring to them as mu'minat because this is what they are really saying about themselves. And Quran did not, uh, a, a, a question uh, that, but he is. Uh, Quran wanted the, um, the 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 community of believers to uh, uh, be responsible for their own, and this is why Quran said, "Allahu a'lamu bi imanihin." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows who is a true believer and not. But uh, the uh, uh, he Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wanted the community of believers to be engaged and to, to be responsible for that, uh, 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 these issues, okay? Uh, uh, they cannot really sit uh, at home and expect really uh, uh, themselves to be safe without really taking the appropriate measures to ensure their safety the safety of their leadership, the safety of their really core citizens. Now, and, and the, the, the questions as the, the, the Sira uh, basically, or the narratives really told us, they were really very uh, simple and straightforward. It's not, it's basically yes or no. It's not like, okay, like uh, a hearing, okay? It's basically, um, um, like, like when you, uh, uh, really, it's not really different from when the question that they ask you, okay, do you have so, uh, this thing or that, or uh, yes or no, they don't, uh, they are not really uh, 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 going into uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, some type of interrogation, okay? فَإِنْ عَلَمْتُمُهُنَّ مُؤْمِنَاتِ Okay, okay, they, they know uh, what are really uh, the, the basic things, okay, and, and they uh, 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 testify basically to that. Here comes really the, the, uh, 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 the issue that the surah is talking about. Uh, the, the surah, if you recall from uh, the, the previous discussions, is really about Okay, the relationship between the uh, community of believers in Medina and the community of the, the, the enemy in, in, in Mecca. Okay, again, they, they, these are really the, uh, stands in diametrically opposite positions. Okay, and we have seen that there should be no alliance, okay, uh, 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 accepted between the, the believers and those who basically acted as enemies to them. 
kicking them out, um, um, not only rejecting uh, uh, their uh, 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 their message or their uh, 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 way of life, but they they went further to force these people. Either you uh, leave. Uh, 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 that religion, or you will be kicked out from 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 your homes. And so, the uh, as we said, there, there was another element that uh, uh, was also introduced or complicated the situation is the issue of the treaty. Okay, but as we said, the treaty did not really specify anything about really women, and this is where Muhammad Sallallahu felt that he can uh, 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 manage the situation according to, to, to his agenda, to his beliefs, okay? Where the, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the, here we are dealing with a really specific situation, which is really the, the issue of, uh, of women and how they should, uh, 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 their, their situation uh, be addressed. If these women are asked to go back to to their uh, 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 non-believer husbands, okay, they they are under they will they will be under the danger and the threat of being coerced to leave their uh, 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 their belief, and and they will be forced to live with someone who again they. They, uh, there is nothing in common, uh, 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 and even the the physical relationship will become uh, uh, really uh, uh, something that they uh, will shy away from. So the whole idea of uh, 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 this type of of marriage is not really going. Uh, 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 in the in the right direction, and this is where uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told uh, 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 Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the community of believers: If these women came to you and you were sure that they are okay, true believers, okay, uh, uh, they are not coming for any other really objective. فلا ترجعوهن إلى الكفار. Don't send them back to their, I mean, to, 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 to the community of, of the enemy, okay? And Quran is saying, In other words, that marriage should be really dissolved, okay? Do not, they, they, they are not halal, if you like. They, they are not, this type of, of marriage is, 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 becoming really null, okay? It should really be stopped. Uh, uh, they, they, they are not fit to each other, okay? And, uh, and here we can see, again, this is a situation of uh, 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 based on our, uh, that there is, we are talking about the enemy, okay? The enemy who is, basically may cause fitna, if you like, or uh, uh, coerce these women, the, the, their own belief will be basically affected. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to protect these, uh, these women. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not only, uh, uh, and also to be uh, uh, just and fair in uh, uh, dealing with the situation because these, uh, uh, un, uh, or non-believer uh, uh, husbands have really uh, paid these women uh, dowry, okay, or sadaq or mahr, okay. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, or the, uh, the uh, Quran is saying, pay uh, that money back to their to their husbands, okay. Just like to be fair to them, okay. If this is because this is something that they are doing uh, uh, on their own volition, okay? So they have to uh, 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 pay them back, okay? But Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the community of believer 
had to compensate for for these uh, um, uh, uh, women. Okay, and also in in order to protect them in the new society, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged his companions to marry. Uh, 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 these women, and there are several examples of of, uh, of a prominent, really like uh, 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 companions of the Prophet who uh, uh, married. I mean, these uh, uh, women coming to uh, to Medina again to to because you don't want them to stay on the uh, on the street and be, be uh, and uh, become beggars, uh, God forbid, or something like that. And and we know what how that would really affect. No, no, the best thing for these women, okay, is to protect them in a new institution of marriage where that marriage will be uh, 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 based on um, uh, a mutual agreement at every level, not only at the level of, of desire or the uh, uh, physical relationship, but also at the level of intellectual, emotional, uh, uh, social, basically, uh, uh, relationship, okay? And so, Quran is saying, وَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْكُمْ أَن تَنْكِحُوهُنَّ إِذَا آتَيْتُمُوهُنَّ أُجُورَهُنْ So, uh, again, it's not a just, it will be a regular uh, marriage with dowry, so you have to, to, to give them, I mean, um, uh, 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 um, uh, money to to uh, take care of themselves, prepare themselves for uh, the, uh, the, this new uh, uh, relationship. And then Quran said, "Wala tumsiku bi'asamil kawafir." You see these uh, agreements, old agreements with the non-believers, al kawafir. Okay, the, the uh, uh, you don't have to be bound by them. Okay, uh, do not really like uh, 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 stick to them. Okay, um, and and so the again you can see that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 relationship uh, 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 with the enemy again is specific. Okay. We are not talking about any other uh, type of, uh, of situation. This is a specific situation, okay? And the, the uh, and, and it's very interesting if you uh, recall from Surat Al-Mujadila, the last verse. لا تجد قوما يؤمنون Can you put it back? Uh, yeah, Surat Al-Mujadila. Yeah. Last verse. لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يوادون من حاد الله ورسوله. Again, we are talking about okay, two diametrically opposite really communities. The, and in this situation, there should be no relation of of love. Okay, and لا يوادون من حاد الله ورسوله. It's not again about uh, people who rejected, but they are living peacefully with you. But these are the people who are really uh, 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 took as a side uh, uh, diametrically opposite to you, and they are really uh, 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 fighting against you because of that, because of your own belief. They. They were they were kicking you and the prophet from their own uh, 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 from their uh, 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 I mean uh, place of birth the way the place they were basically been raised and so the, uh, but you notice what Quran is saying walau kanu abaahum aw abnaahum aw ikhwanahum aw ashiratahum even if they are their fathers, their, their uh, uh, children, their siblings, or their own really tribe. But I have been asking for years myself, why Quran did not mention Azwaj in that verse? Can you put it, put it back, please? Uh, 
the from Surat Al Mujadila. Shakil, yeah. So, so the and and that particular verse, okay. One would ask why the the uh, uh, wives or or uh, 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 spouses were not really mentioned. Why did not say walau kanu azwajahum? Okay, why? Because uh, uh, you cannot change the relationship with your father, even if if the father is in, on the on the other side. You cannot change it. He, uh, that person will continue to be your father or your mother. Okay. The same thing, your children will continue to be your children, even if you are, uh, 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 yeah, if, if you are uh, 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 in contradiction with, uh, with them in, in terms of their beliefs, the same thing with your siblings, the same thing with your tribe, you cannot change that. Okay, this genealogy cannot be really changed, but the relationship between a, a, a man and a woman can be changed. This, this lady is, is, is the wife of that man <laughs> for one reason or another that if they become divorced or in this situation, they are uh, being separated because of this special situation because they are uh, 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 unbelievers who may be uh, posing a threat to the belief of, of their, uh, and so there should be really no relationship, okay? And, and no marriage relationship. And that explains, okay, why Quran in that, it's very it's amazing how precise is Quran, because that relationship may change. Like these women, they were the wives of these an uh, uh, unbeliever men in, in Mecca, once they migrated and Muhammad Sallallahu accepted them, they basically severed that rela marriage relationship with, with their husbands and uh, or, or, uh, previous uh, husbands. And now they, are, they belong to a new society and they are establishing really a new uh, a marriage relationship. Okay, um, ca can we go back to the verse? So you, you uh, I hope that uh, this becomes really, and again, without understanding, uh, uh, and Shaquille had a question at the beginning before we started, like, I mean, and, and what is the relationship? Why, I mean, we uh, Quran is talking about, I mean, how, uh, 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 protecting these women and protecting their beliefs and their decisions, okay, and, and life. This is, this is a big move. Again, in terms of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the status of uh, the same way we saw how Al-Mujadila shifted really the paradigm and, and uh, the uh, 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 woman uh, uh, basically entered a, a, a new uh, phase in, in, in their history, okay, uh, uh, where the uh, woman uh, uh, will, uh, will have a, a voice, they can stand up, protect their rights, uh, they stand up for justice, they can say the truth, okay, without fear, okay, and they can uh, 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 argue even Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam while Dr. they Dad, are yes I had I had I had a question in my mind about what mm -hmm. happened to the, the fate of their children the brothers their father but this verse really clarifies everything it yeah. really clarifies yeah exactly so so the the uh, 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 by the way even Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of his daughters, Zainab, was really married to an, a non-believer. Yes. Eventually, she moved, okay? Yes. And, and, and honestly, um, you, I mean, the treaty, Al-Hudaybiyah, was not an easy uh, uh, situation because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was going there, okay? And basically going to, to Mecca 
to to make Umrah. Okay. And there was a high chance that the Meccan will really wage war against him. What would happen really like to even, even to his own daughter? They could have, I mean, like uh, uh, retaliated against him by doing uh, harming or killing or whatever they can do. But this represents high courage from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What type of confidence he had and what type of confidence he put in the hearts of his companions to take that, that step and uh, really challenge the, the, the elites of Mecca, they became perplexed. And by the way, uh, it's not something that happened overnight. The, the, uh, the, uh, the Muslim uh, 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 army, if you like, had to camp outside Mecca for, for several weeks. Imagine yourself and, and the Sahaba even describe that situation. Imagine yourself, you have not taken a bath for several weeks. Imagine yourself like you are eating something simple. I mean, their, their access, I mean, they had really to, uh, 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 they, they have to be very ration, <laughs> okay? And, and, and even, so in every aspect, it was a very, very, very tough situation. Almost, almost like a siege. In fact, no, they were not really, they, they camped outside so that they allow for the negotiations to take place. Yeah. They could not really, they did not have really the, the, uh, the number, uh, the, uh, the enough people like to, and they, that was not the objective. In fact, the objective was really like to show that this, Mecca, this place, Mecca, should be an open place. Mm -hmm. The fact that you are in charge the fact that we, we, we are not in agreement with, in, in terms of our beliefs, but this place should be open to everyone who wants really to go and pray, okay? And, and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was really uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the challenge that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam put the, the Meccan before. And... Uh, Eventually, they they were pushed really to 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 make an agreement. Okay, when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sensed from them that they are ready for, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was was not really uh, co concerned about little things here and there. Whatever they asked for, he said okay. To the point that Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu an Hadrat Umar was concerned. I mean. Why he was he asked the prophet why you are giving them all this? Right. But because Omar was thinking tactically, Muhammad Sallallahu was thinking strategically. So uh, Abu Bakr told Omar, "I said, you are talking to the prophet. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like yeah. and 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 some and Subhanallah, something happened at work not long time ago." A couple of weeks ago, we had a meeting and uh, um, for one of the committees at the university, and I, I am a member of that, and uh, there was a question or a suggestion from the dean of the medical school um, uh, to, to, uh, to, to um, uh, do something, um, and, but the dean put it in the form of a question for the committee. The, the, it was not like a, an order coming from above, an executive order or something. No, no, it was, okay, I want to uh, 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 put that question to you and uh, uh, see what, what you can come out with. And there was a very interesting comment from a, an experienced person in the committee. And he said, uh, he said look, guys, um, the, the, the dean is a very uh, busy person. She has so many things to do. If we go back and ask him, ask her, like, what is your uh, 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 like uh, intention? Uh, and uh, these are the. He said sometimes you you have to um, 
uh, you, uh, we should not really uh, second guess, okay, that the leader, okay? Again, if you, uh, and something that is, is, is not really, it will not make uh, life and death, I mean, situations, okay? But uh, we, we can basically accept, I mean, her request, okay? Since it is, it is not, uh, and instead of going back and forth and really uh, uh, waste her time on something that it is easy for us like to, to take care of and we can move on. And I think this is very interesting so that sometimes we, we make the, the leadership uh, uh, busy with something that that is not of a great concern and wasting their time while they could have channeled their energy to something more really important. And I think Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was really thinking about something bigger. As I said at the beginning, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was looking at how to establish a condition of peace in, in Arabia that would, and, and he was right because the, the historians told us that uh, in that year of peace after the treaty, okay, you see how many people till that time have em em embraced Islam and accepted the new message? The number during that year who accepted Islam were 10 times the number of people who have accepted Islam over uh, if we are talking about 13, at least 20 years. <laughs> you see, the number of people who accepted Islam during that year was 10 times the number of people who accepted the new message over 20 years. What do you want more than that? And Quran would call it, call that a treaty fatah which means victory. I'm sure all of you read uh, uh, that surah yesterday or probably they are going to read it today. Okay? Yeah. It was not about the liberation of Mecca. It was about the treaty of al Hudaybiyah. So, so no, no question that uh, that was really the, the whole really intention of, 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 that, of that treaty. But as we said, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw that in, despite that treaty, okay, the situation of the woman do, uh, was not addressed. So he was free to, to make decisions about it, okay? And as long as he will, uh, on one hand, uh, protect this woman, and at the same time, that he doesn't look as if he is taking advantage, really, of, of their previous husbands. No, whatever they have paid, we are ready to pay uh, them back, okay? And, and the verse uh, continued or... or um, uh, 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 emphasize further that issue. Wasalu ma anfaktum, wal yasalu ma anfaku. So, because there is another situation that there are really uh, 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 men, okay, who basically uh, 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 left their uh, 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 Muslim wives in Medina and went back to Mecca. So what, what will happen in these situations? So, so it is really like uh, uh, and one offset really the other. In other words, uh, you have to ask uh, 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 what you uh, 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 in other words, like if uh, uh, I'm sorry, I have to repeat that. Uh, uh, Muslim men whose wives are uh, remain, I mean, a non and they want and they may have left them and went back to Bakka. 
okay but they have paid these uh, these women these wives or previous wives their dowries so they have to ask about that money okay the 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 uh, the um, uh, community in mecca or the leadership in mecca should be responsible to pay these people back the same way the the muslim community will pay back okay the the, the husbands whose wives migrated to medina because of their uh, belief and and the acceptance of the message of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fal yasalu ma anfaqu wasalu ma anfaqtum wal yasalu ma anfaqu dhalikum hukm allah yahkum baynakum wallahu alim hakim so this is a a judgment coming down from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 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 judging uh the uh the the uh the, the uh, this dispute between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh is not only has the the knowledge but also has the wisdom to uh to use that knowledge uh, uh, uh wisely okay and uh, and they, uh and uh, achieve really uh, the, uh, the best objectives of uh, uh, of of this type of uh, of knowledge now what would happen for example if if the uh, the muslim community paid the uh, uh, the un- non believers husbands of the women who came as believers to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but when the wives of the uh, uh, believer husbands went back to mecca and the meccan community did not pay these husbands uh, back here muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay uh, or the quran is asking the community okay of the believers in medina to compensate for these for these one wa in fatakum the next verse wa in fatakum shay'un min azwajikum ila al kuffar okay fa'aqabtum hiya ra'aqabtum wa in fatakum so if if these uh, 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 the wives of the uh, um, uh, immigrant believers went back to the non believers uh, and and you have really compensated uh, the, the 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 husbands in mecca but but mecca did not really like uh, compensated for the the believer husbands in medina okay uh, which means uh, this is the idea of aqabtum okay aqabtum is not doesn't really mean, it, it it may mean okay uh, 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 it's not from aqab which is punishment no no it has nothing to do with punishment it has it, it, this verb is coming from uqba which means that the, the, there is a a situation uh, 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 a, a, a a similar situation happening on both sides as we have seen like the the uh, wives uh, of the non believers migrated to medina and left their husbands so the 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 community in medina has to pay the uh, the dowry uh, to back to 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 their husbands and a, a similar situation about these wives from uh, of the immigrant believers who went back to uh, to mecca but here the uh, uh, if that uh, sit, uh, i mean uh, uh, two situations did not offset each other and the 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 uh, uh, community in mecca refused to pay back these husbands then quran is saying fa'atu alladhina dhahabat azwajuhum mithla ma anfaqu so the 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 muslim community should really pay these husbands this immigrant husbands okay uh, uh, what they have paid so that 
they f uh, feel very well compensated. And he, uh, in, in all these situations, okay, uh, 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 taqwa should govern really the behavior. Uh, otherwise, why the, the, the Muslim community would pay back and they will take the responsibility because of their consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who, uh, 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 who is the uh, uh, al-adl, who is uh, the, the most just, and they have to be just in their uh, 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 dealings, okay? And, uh, uh, and that would be a proof that they really believe in him and in his beautiful names. And it's a very fair settlement. Of the very, very fair, fair, yeah, exactly. It is, uh, uh, so very this fair. is why, uh, exactly. So this is why Muhammad Sallallahu had to be fair, yes. okay, in, in the dealings with this, and at the same time to protect the woman. How he protected them financially, okay, and socially, he, he protected them uh, 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 and, uh, and uh, to put them back, okay, not only in the bigger society, not knowing to, what to do, but protected, protected them in the institution of marriage. Right. Because this is really the vision of, of uh, 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 if you like, or the social vision of, uh, uh, of Islam, that the best relationship but, or the most balanced relationship between a man and a woman is to be in the uh, institution of marriage. So every effort has to be uh, taken to protect that, that important unit of the society, which is really the, the um, uh, institution of, uh, uh, of marriage, okay? And uh, 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 and as soon as possible, okay, these women should be, uh, and so uh, you see the, the, the idea, uh, and I, I can see um, the, uh, the reason uh, for the, um, uh, 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 the, uh, but uh, like uh, the, why why Islam uh, allowed okay the uh, 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 men in certain circumstances please uh, underline that uh, uh, the uh, to have more than more than one wife okay uh, and this is really one of these situations. The idea is really to protect uh, uh, the woman. Uh, so it, it, uh, uh, this idea uh, 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 of allowing uh, men in certain circumstances to, to marry more than one uh, uh, woman is basically should be seen as something in on, I mean, in favor of women, not to be in favor of men. Unfortunately, this is one of the things that has been hijacked by men. Thinking that, oh, since Quran is saying you can have mathna wa thulatha wa ruba, so the moment they have a little bit more money, they start really marrying another woman and putting the whole, I mean, uh, 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 family in, 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 in this array. The, 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 uh, we need to uh, look at, at these measures as measures to protect women. They were done in favor of women to, to protect them in the institution of marriage. Okay? There has to be and, a justification. There has to be a justification. I, that that yeah. honestly, this is the only because otherwise we will be taking these uh, 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 statements okay. that we see and out of their context, out of the context of the ayah, mm -hmm. not only of Quran, from the from the ayah itself. Because if you look at the ayah and at the beginning of Surah An Nisa, wa in khiftum, Allah tuqsitu fil yatama, fankihu ma taba lakum. So the, the, uh, it started with a condition. The condition is how to protect 
the orphans in the society. These women who uh, their husbands left them for one reason or another, and they have a children. Okay, what they will happen to these women with their with their uh, uh, orphan uh, orphan children? They will be on the street. So, can we fight for them? a situation that will protect them and protect these orphans. And you know what will happen if these orphans did not really have a, 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 a somebody who will be uh, uh, in the position of, 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 of the father, okay? And we know what will happen to the woman when they don't have a protection, financially, socially, and in all other aspects. So, so the, the, uh, this is why you can see in the surah that there was an encouragement of the society to protect these women. You, you, you asked them to, uh, uh, you accepted them in the society, but sh you should not stop there. What, what, uh, what things are you providing for them to uh, 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 protect uh, their honor, to protect their, uh, 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 them, uh, them uh, even physically, to, to protect, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to have a decent life, the best situation is in the institution of marriage. And here comes really these uh, uh, situations where, uh, 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 again, these are measures to protect women, not to <laughs> encourage the desires, if you like, of the men. Okay, and, and to have, I mean, <coughs> uh, without really a clear objective. The idea is not to uh, go after the, the, the pleasure and, uh, uh, and the desires of, uh, of men. No, no, this is, unfortunately, these uh, measures were uh, hijacked to serve really the the, 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 the desires of certain men in the society were in the first place, they were issued, they were uh, 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 revealed to protect women, okay, and, uh, 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 and, and their status really in the society. And, we, we, uh, and you can see how the, 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 uh, the, the driving force in, 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 for, in this situation is really like to, uh, 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 for women to have a voice, to, to have a, uh, a, a presence, to, uh, uh, to, to protect their character, to protect their honor, to protect their rights, to uh, uh, feel that they are treated uh, uh, as humans, like any uh, 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 man, if you like, in the, in the society, okay? And that is the, really the main objective. And really the last, the next verse <coughs> will emphasize that because the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam is, uh, is establishing what we call a social contract. You, you, are, you are all familiar with the, uh, the uh, 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 in the West, the first to really talk about the social contract was basically John Jacques Rousseau. Is that right? They, he uh, uh, um, uh, uh, wrote about, about this and everything. But honestly, if you look at this verse uh, where Muhammad Sallallahu is uh, uh, taking the, uh, it's, like, uh, 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 it's like a referendum, if you like, or uh, 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 accepting uh, 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 the agreement of, uh, uh, or making an agreement with the woman. Can you imagine where that happened in Arabia? before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are talking about a society that did not even see the importance of, of the woman in, in, in their life, to the point that they, 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 could, uh, they used to bury them if you, uh, in certain situations uh, alive, 
uh, they may be uh, uh, killing them because of of uh, uh, of uh, 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 poverty, or they may sacrifice them to the uh, to, to the idols. All these measures were abolished by by Quran. Okay, not only that, but really restored the humanity of, uh, of, of women and, and, and that, if you like, patriarchic society. And so now they, they stand on their own. It's not like what, what uh, uh, Surah Tabbat Yada Abi Lahab in Watab Ma Agna Anhu Maluhu Wama Kasab Sayasla Naran Datara Lahab Wamra Atuhu so the, his wife was following him. No, no, no. The, the women are not followers. This, this verse where Muhammad is making a contract, a social contract with women, it, it, it means he is really talking to them as a partner. You got it? Yeah. Because mubaya, which what does it really mean mubaya? Which means that there are uh, terms that the citizens have to uh, to, to abide by. In uh, in turn, the leadership had really also to uh, uh, to abide uh, by certain responsibilities. The responsibility of the prophet as a leader of the a newly born society, okay, is really to protect that society, to protect all of its citizens, <coughs> men and women. So these women <coughs> came to the prophet or came to Medina as believers. Muhammad وسلم, accepted them, but the, 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 this acceptance did not stop there. The next step was to make a contract. Okay, and it is a clear contract. From my side, I will protect you. I will arrange everything to protect you financially, socially, politically, in all aspects. Okay, and I am treating you as partners. Okay, it's not as a second uh, de degree, if you like, uh, 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 a citizen. No, 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 you are, and in fact, at the same time, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was making the same contract with the men, but Quran would really only tell us about, about what happened between Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this woman. Again, because Quran is, is uh, 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 is showing us that shift. Okay, the same way Al Mujadila shifted the paradigm, and the same thing this surah also uh, worked further on on that paradigm. That women have to be protected. But at the same time, they have uh, not only rights, but they have also duties. And you cannot ask somebody to, uh, 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 to discharge a duty unless you recognize that if, if, uh, and acknowledge the presence of that, of that individual. And you are talking about I mean, uh, 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 although the, uh, 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 the narratives were telling us that Umar al Khattab was really um, uh, making uh, or taking the, 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 the agreement or, or uh, 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 like discussing that agreement with the, uh, uh, and taking their uh, uh, acceptance on it, okay, but the, the, the verse is saying, yeah, so it, it, 
put Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, okay, as a partner with these women. It's very important, my dear brothers and sisters. You, we have to highlight that. We have to highlight this in our discussions. We have to make our daughters aware of that. We need to make our, our boys aware of that. That this is how Quran, okay, is treating a, a, a woman. And unfortunately, history showed us that we regressed to the older paradigm in our dealings and then the way we are treating women in the society. And really they, they are treated in some situations less than human. Why? Well, unfortunate, the, very unfortunate. Very it's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And I am talking about, again, the, how these surahs shifted the paradigm or made, I mean, uh, uh, moved the society into a new vision into a, a new way of life. But unfortunately, instead of continuing on, on this, unfortunately, we regress. In other words, not only that, but even when the Muslim community uh, 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 interface with other communities in the world, where, they were there, where the situation of women was much better than what was prevalent in Arabia, instead of of moving them forward, unfortunately, we ask them to regress back to the older paradigm mm -hmm. and to, to the uh, habits of the, unfortunately, of the desert, of very close conser conservative uh, communities, okay, while they were really in, living in an open society. Why to, to bring them back instead of moving them forward, elevating that their status even further? Unfortunately, that journey did not continue. And uh, uh, today, I think we need to think about this again as two different paradigms, two different visions. Okay, and uh, in fact, I called Surat Al-Mujadila is a watershed between these two paradigms. And I will say also that Surat Al-Mumtahana, okay, where the, the, the women uh, uh, were really uh, not were protected from, from the, their previous husbands who may become a threat to them and to their beliefs, okay, they were uh, uh, not uh, 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 simply protected in the new society, but were, were given a status not different from the status of men. Because when Muhammad Sallallahu would be at, at, at taking their agreement on, on, on the, 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 uh, these different terms, in return for this uh, 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 protection from, from all aspects, this is really very, very ad uh, important advancement. So instead of uh, unfortunate, uh, uh, we should have continued <laughs> that movement that was started by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not to regress, <laughs> To the issue, to the status before uh, uh, Islam or before the revel revelation of these surahs. Uh, yes. Sal, sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt. At this, no, point, please. We, at this point, we should hear some comments from Sister Fahmida, who is attending this session. Please. Yes. Any comments. Yes, Sister please. Fahmida, any comments, please? I believe you're there. She may be on mute. Shakil, can you unmute her? I can't. I, I can oh. ask her to unmute. I yeah. cannot. Okay, unmute. I'm sorry. We can go on. Yeah. Yes. 
It'd be interesting to hear a comment on this. Yeah, but I, I, I also, I mean, from anybody who who is willing like to 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 make yeah. any any comment because this is really very critical. My my thought was I was asking myself like this is you know Quran is relevant to all ages. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is very specific case. They were talked about is tied to the treaty that between Medina and Mecca, but how this kind of logic applies now, like like th this very specific, like I'm understanding about the 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 the, the rights of women that are given mm -hmm, to them mm -hmm, after they mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To Medina, but how does that apply? You know, how can we apply this knowledge now, like in terms of people? You know, like are we talking about women who are leaving their families because they've been treated badly or they are, you know, husband is not, you know, you know, following the same understanding and beliefs or not, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. working against certain agenda, right? Things like that. I, I don't know, how does it, I was trying to make yeah. that connection. Yeah, yeah, very good. I, I, I think, um, I mean, um, uh, the, the basic, I would say a message that will uh, uh, basically apply uh, at all times and the places is really to see from these specific situations that, okay, it has its own circumstances that cannot be repeated, okay? Or um, um, it cannot be repeated 100%. There may be situations very similar, but, in, in, in any situation that may arise in the, in, in, in the present or in the future, okay? I think the main message, okay, remains the same is that women in the society should really be treated as partners, equal partners, okay? The same way in the, in the uh, institution of marriage, they have to be treated as equal partners, as co, uh, 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 if you like, leaders of, 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 of that family, the same way they have also to be treated as partners in the society, okay? So they're uh, uh, the same way men have to abide by, by and, and to discharge their own duties and, and respect really the, the laws of, of the land, okay? And the, the same thing is expected from, from women in order really like to, uh, uh, so what is the relationship between, uh, I mean, the, the, a government and its people? <laughs> it's basically, basically it will be the same. Like, okay, the, 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 the government, uh, 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 is responsible really to protect its citizens, protect their rights, provide them with all uh, the, the, their needs. But at the same time, we have the citizens have to do certain things. Okay, so they have to abide by by the laws in order. So it is really a mutual relationship. It's a contract. It's a social contract. عقد اجتماعي. Okay, so they, uh, 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 when you are talking about a contract, okay, you are talking about uh, if you have a contract uh, uh, with another business man or woman, okay, so you are in, in that agreement, you are a, an equal partner. It's not about like a 25 and seven, no, 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 in terms of the agreement, Okay, uh, the contract. Okay, both both sides are recognized, and they are mutually also recognized. Okay, and this is how you you have a contract. If somebody does not agree on a certain term, the contract will not be signed by both sides. And so Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, uh, is really treating these women as partners in that agreement. What is this agreement? That uh, they, they, uh, uh, they will not really go back to shirk. They 
they will not join with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any, any other uh, uh, partner. La yasriqna. So this is the, the, their basic belief. This is the society is based on, on that uh, 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 on, on, on that important aspect because shirk is a problem. Shirk as described by Quran is zulm. Inna shirka la zulmun azim. Because it, 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 uh, it, uh, uh, when you have to, uh, to answer to, to, to multiple sides, okay, it's, it's not clear where you are really going. So there will be some form, and the Quran described several situations. Uh, shirk in, in Quran is not about only this simple uh, 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 thing of somebody like worshiping an idol. Quran goes beyond that by far. Okay, talking about the 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 the, uh, the shirk as a a complete way of life. It's a, a, a paradigm by itself, okay? So uh, uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, the, uh, the, it, it has the, uh, the, uh, all these practices, okay? That eventually will lead to uh, the division uh, among the people uh, that will uh, 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 dictate on them certain practices that go uh, against really their uh, their uh, their rights, so Quran asking them not to steal. La yasrakna, they uh, they don't commit adultery. La yazni, wa la yaktulna auladahun. They don't kill their children for any reason, being poverty or uh, 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 or shame or whatever. All all or honor. All, all these banners are really uh, 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 have been abolished by, by, uh, by the new message. They should not be involved in the fabrication of fake if you like fake news or rumors or uh, uh, or lies, okay, either I mean against uh, others or to deceive others. For example, uh, to come uh, 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 face to face and start accusing uh, 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 other citizens of uh, doing something wrong or. Uh, without uh, and 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 basically make it uh, 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 these accusations in front of everybody. This is buhtan. Yaftarina, they I mean uh, 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 fabricated. Okay, this is they should shy away from uh, 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 practices of that nature. But I can see also in 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 that phrase that all these fabrications and lies, we go to them by our own actions. And when you are acting, you use your hands and your, your legs because you walk. <laughs> when you are taking an action, you use your uh, hands, your power, your... Uh, 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 so the, these are metaphors, if you like, for the, the, uh, 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 your... Uh, uh, involvement even physically with in doing or in fabricating really these these lies and then quran made it uh, 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 more general they will not disobey muhammad uh, and 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 all these good things that he uh, 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 command basically to them Ma'roof, and uh, the, uh, as we are, uh, the, all these high values uh, uh, or, uh, or good really deeds, Quran will refer to them as ma'roof, something that are universally known, things that are common to all humanity and they all, I mean, uh, 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 accept, okay? Like saying the truth 
or uh, uh, na, uh, uh, respecting others. I mean, uh, the, the, the list goes on and on of every really good deed that is really uh, 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 Quran uh, consider uh, uh, common to all humanity. Here, uh, if they agree, فبايعهن. so uh, uh, then you you have to accept uh, 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 their agreement. واستغفر لهن الله إن الله غفور رحيم. Then ask uh, uh, for Allah. Uh, uh, forgiveness for them uh, and again because uh, 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 mistakes can happen okay uh, errors can can be committed okay this doesn't mean that you are talking about people who do not uh, uh, who are you are not dealing with uh, with angels no 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 they are still human beings they, they, they may, have, uh, despite the fact that they agreed, okay, to, 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 uh, to all these uh, 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 responsibilities, uh, but they can sometimes, I mean, because of weakness, the human weakness, uh, 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 errors and mistakes can, can uh, uh, be committed, they can uh, happen, so, there is always a place to transcend uh, uh, this by uh, 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 asking for forgiveness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all forgiving and merciful. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. The last verse, okay, is very also very interesting and really complement how the surah started. Again, you see the symmetry. The, the, the surah started by talking about the, uh, the, that you should not really have a love relationship with the enemy who basically uh, uh, not only rejected the truth by kicked the prophet and you from their, uh, the, the, their place of residence, okay? And, uh, uh, and so uh, uh, the last verse is saying, do not, Again, do not make alliance. These people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, 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 they, uh, they are condemned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so because of their, of their actions, because of their uh, unjust really practices not because they they rejected or they did not want to join you or follow you or accept your message but because of their uh, uh, unjust practices okay and why they are doing the, these practices because they they don't have any sense of uh, of accountability or responsibility and quran is really ref, uh, uh, expressing this but by the fact that they don't believe in the day of a judgment, they don't have any hope of a snack, of a, an, an, a next life. Because what does it really mean to believe in the al akhirah? What is the what is the implication? Why why I mean like you uh, you sometimes uh, you are facing a situation and you say no I cannot do this. Because, because you believe that you are um, responsible and you will be accountable. But if you are not accountable, some people may, may do it without even, uh, I mean, uh, 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 asking themselves, I mean, any question. But Quran is saying these people have, are desperate of, 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 of the, the next life the same way they are desperate of those who died to come back. Ashab al-Qubur are those who are, who are the, the dead. They are not going to come back. So, the, so how, as if Quran is saying, how come you make alliance with, with a group of people who do not have any sense of accountability and responsibility? 
and you are expecting Quran at the beginning of the surah is, 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 uh, is telling these people who uh, especially that that uh, uh, a companion who basically uh, shared with them uh, uh, secrets uh, of the prophet and the Muslim community okay uh, are you going to benefit from this the moment they have the upper hand they will not really even uh, even uh, recognize you they will they will really uh, harm you uh, physically and verbally okay uh, so in other words you uh, what you are thinking that they uh, of doing this that would really benefit you or your family that you left in in Mecca is really a an illusion. Don't live that illusion. Don't expect from these people, okay? As long as they persist and insist on on their on their uh, 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 attitude of animosity towards you don't expect from uh, them really anything it will uh, your your actions will be like their actions Ex uh, they, they 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 are the actions of the desperate don't act like this okay the, uh, 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 don't be uh, 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 de desperate like them but in fact as, as you recall in the middle of the surah we saw that you have to be hopeful that the relationship will change from animosity to friendship but that should really be done in, in the most proper way not by diluting your uh, your principles or at the expense of your principles but by showing the other side a better model and this is how eventually okay uh, uh, Mecca was liberated without really much fighting and everybody was really protected and and really the credit goes to Definitely to the way Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam managed really the, 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 the emergence of this new society uh, and uh, uh, made of that society a model that people would really see in it uh, uh, the the salvation or their salvation. And that was the reason why these women really migrated to, to, to Medina uh, and had to leave their husbands and uh, or their old social life and join a new society because they saw in the new society something really different. And if that continues and that continued and until the even the, the, they started really like in Mecca. What are we doing? See where the, the society of in, in Medina, the, 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 the society of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, compare. See how the advancement they, they have achieved in, in the status of women and the protection of the society and having a social contract. There is there is nothing like that in the whole of Arabia, probably in the world, but at least in their immediate environment, they they don't they did not see anything getting closer to what Muhammad Sallallahu has achieved in a methodical way, okay, and and uh, uh, and uh, no question that this is where we need really to focus in studying the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is why we always emphasize we need to understand it in the context of Quran. How Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was able to, under the guidance of Quran, 
to build a new society with a new set of values, with the new practices, and how uh, he created an, an environment that made it so difficult for other invading ideas to flourish, or the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the certain phenomena like the phenomenon of nifaq to flourish in, uh, uh, in Medina. But, uh, and, but it was abolished, okay, not by violence, but it was really abolished by creating a totally different environment. So it will, it's like when you have uh, like a vaccine, okay? When you are inoculated, you are creating an environment inside you that will not allow the invading virus or bacteria or whatever like to cause really disease in you. The, the bacteria is still there. The virus is still there, but it will not, be able like to to do and because you have a changed really the uh, or created a totally different environment inside you and the same thing he created an environment outside okay and the, uh, the environment outside that is very clean that it becomes very difficult okay as we saw for example in the issue of najwa now, even if people uh, in, in public, they are uh, with a, within a big gathering, couple people start talking to each other, nobody will see that it is a threat to the others because they know that the, 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 the people are, if they are talking, they are talking about good things to, to, to happen in the society. They are not trying to uh, uh, demonize uh, certain people in the society or to act, uh, I mean, uh, 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 against them or to harm them in any way, really, or shape. And Dr. this Sayed. is, yes, please. Dr. This reminds me of a notable Western scholar who quoted that Muhammad Sallallahu was the only person in the whole history of mankind who was most successful in both religious and secular fields. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And, yeah, yeah, and, and, and other words, this is what, what I, uh, thank you very much, Brother Muzaffar, because we need to see Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and, 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 and uh, we have uh, to see him in, in that role. In totality, okay? in totality. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, look what is happening really on in, 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 the, in, in the media today. Look at what, what type of topics they are, they, they are talking about in, in these lectures. It is uh, it's very unfortunate. I mean, just like yesterday, there was some, uh, a video about somebody, uh, uh, a scholar or whatever, sheikh, whatever. Uh, he's talking about the signs of the next life, alamatu <laughs> sa'a. <laughs> and Quran is full of the verses saying that nobody knows about when the, 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 the day of judgment will come. And it will come very suddenly. Okay. But I mean, is this really the concern today? Is really the, from all what is really we are facing. Okay. You, are, you want us to move to the next life and we are still in this life and we don't know how to prepare ourselves for the next life. Muhammad Sallallahu when he was asked, what have you prepared for it? As simple as that. Like now, we are, how many people listen to this? This is the problem. Million, he, over a million viewers. He said, plant a tree, even if you are sure. No, plant a tree. But Brother Muzaffar, listen to me. That video was, was seen by more over a million people. <laughs> I mean, and then you will say, why, this is why we are in this situation. Yeah. Are you going, did Muhammad Sallallahu as you are, this, as he was described, okay? The, 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 the success that you are talking about within relatively very short period of time, to make this, this uh, significant uh, changes, okay? 
did it happen because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was telling them only about the, the, the signs of, of the next life, which Quran did not even talk about it? No. All the time talking about them in the negative. How to live this life. How to, how live, to this live this life, life. exactly. Yeah. How to live this life, how to, to prepare yourself for, for a, a bigger objective in the next life. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's, it is very unfortunate. And, and you look, I mean, I, I'm not talking about myself or, I mean, but really like, uh, Shaquille, how many people looked at our videos? 30 people? That's, but I mean, you can see, but, but does that mean that I have to stop? No. <laughs> no. You see, but uh, in fact, it will increase our responsibility to show people what are really the, the major issues that we need to talk about. But my point is, uh, uh, it's data. I'm talking about the data. Mm -hmm. The data is telling us that the concerns of the people are still very low. And if we continue with concerns like that, we are not going to see improvement. What we need to do is to start changing the concerns of the people to really tell them that this is not really that is going to help us. It's not going to change our situation. This is not the way Muhammad Sallallahu what he did. Look at the verses that we are discussing today. Who is, when the last time you heard somebody talking about the social contract between Muhammad Sallallahu and women in the society? Uh, people don't even know that there is a contract. This is mubaya. This is a social contract. Two partners at equal footing with Muhammad وسلم, being the leader. I think the idea behind these kind of logic and 